The way I like to put it is you have two huge real estate arms, Ayala Land as well as Eaton, and the canvas here is a beautiful 35 hectare property, so the sky is really the limit with this initiative. Ayala Land felt strongly about the opportunity to provide Filipinos, both investors and also end users alike, with a progressive urban landscape for an enhanced view of what it means to live, work and play, balanced with a much greener lifestyle given its generous parks and open spaces. One of the visions that we have is that it's going to have a multitude of different facilities and really excel at them in a very high level. We don't want it to feel congested. We want the community to also feel like there is a seamless integration of the green landscapes as well as the parks. Park Links was really master plan to promote both productivity and progress as a business center while also enabling this health first lifestyle with emphasis on overall well-being and wellness. And we really feel that it's a testament to the fact that living a life of wellness within the bustle of a modern city is possible. There's the presence in two key cities within the metro, Pasig, which is of course a first-class and highly urbanized city, and Quezon City, the largest and most populated and well-planned cities. The combination of these two really provide an opportunity to reach out and serve more communities and respond to the market needs. Investing in real estate is, is a very good strategy in general, simply because historically trends have showed that uh, properties are more stable than something like stocks. I really believe that experiences are, are really meaningful. At the same time, you would want to invest in something to create a stable foundation for you to have the experiences that you want. Real estate as an industry and as an investment is unique in its permanency. It's an asset that can be enjoyed by families, passed down through generations. And even as a pure investment vehicle in the Philippine context, I think many will point to the historically high returns relative to other investment opportunities, as well as the opportunity it offers to diversify and as a proxy to the tremendous growth of the Philippines as an economy. I think of leadership as taking your work ethic as well as your principles and really driving that to make the company stride in directions that you believe are profitable to give back to the environment, how we can all as a company achieve something more and empower ourselves to do that. Ayala Land is a long-term visionary and it plans far in advance, which I think is one of its key strengths. I'm confident that the next 10 years will continue to be led by the core tenets of innovation and sustainability. I imagine, though, that this will probably be magnified given the world of change that we're living in. Even with that, I genuinely believe that Ayala Land's core model is quite timeless. The concept of a master plan sustainable estate.